So let's understand the first topic that is what are the important considerations in promotional decision. The first being the various stages in the product life cycle. During the beginning of the life cycle, there may be a need to be way more aggressive and informational advertising while a slowdown in promotion may be seen during the later stages. However, the different stages of the product life cycle will be discussed in further detail down the session today. The next point is the nature of the product. If a product is not new in its usage or function, there may be less need for information and more focus on the brand equity creation as well as on the emotional aspects of the product. However, if the product is an absolutely new product in the market with not many competitors already functioning or providing the similar or same product, the more focus has to be on providing the information to the customers rather than creating a brand for the product. The third being the allocated and the available budget. A certain amount of total budget is always set aside for the promotional activities and these then need to be designed and executed within these constraints. The next being cultural sensitivity. If a product is to be launched in a new international market or translated across markets, it becomes imperative to take into consideration the local affiliations and sensitivities. These include both cultural and religious considerations. Often these issues may even be present within one country itself. For example, our country is a highly cultural sensitive country in the sense that even within the same country, different location hails of different culture and very strongly. The next being target market composition. The people who make up the target market needs to be considered before committing to a promotional mix. If a market is not tech savvy, then more traditional means may need to be employed. Conversely, an internet generation used to instant gratification may need to be provided more focused and targeted messages. And the next one is competitors action. The methods a competitor uses needs to be taken into account as well while making promotional decisions. There may not be a need to spend money on a radical advertising method if a customer is using the rudimentary methods. For example, we have if one company is using very basic techniques of reaching out to its customers, that is the print media or the press media, there is no need for our brand to actually go way out of our budget and spend on huge amount of advertisements on TV, radio, which is way more expensive than compared to the print media.